hard, hard fought game. I saw it coming a couple of days ago when I first started watching the film after the Vegas game that night. I thought, oh boy, you know, watched him. I, I, I thought uh, uh, a couple things. First thing that came to mind for me was Eastern Kentucky last year, which ended up being a top 75 RPI win. Both teams were undefeated when we played them here last year. They were older. They executed really well. They screened well. They ran their stuff. They had an older team. Um, I thought their execution was terrific, and IPFW reminded me of that to a T. Uh, so I knew we were going to be tested. I thought it was going to potentially be the best execution team we played against uh, thus far, uh, certainly not to take away from some of the talents and strengths of the other teams that we've played. Um, I watched the game at Dayton where they're up one with five seconds to go. They inbound the ball. They win. I've coached at Dayton. That's a really hard place to play. And, um, you know, you watch what Dayton's done in the last week, winning at Georgia Tech, beating Gonzaga, and beating California. Um, I, Dustin and I, Dustin had the scout. And for two days, you know, we, we were doing everything we could to try to tell our guys how good this basketball team was that we were playing. They had lost two games by one point coming into the game, both games without their best player, uh, the preseason all-league player, in Jacobo, who had 15 tonight and made three threes. So... Uh, first, let me just say this. I'm going to give a lot of credit to them. I think they're really well coached. I think they're a good basketball team. We beat a good basketball team tonight. Now, on our end, what I was disappointed with was our toughness to start the game. I didn't think we were where we needed to be. We got out to the 12-5 lead, and then they popped us pretty good to get back in the game. I knew from watching them they were going to play a full 40 minutes. We talked about that with our guys. Um, you know, I thought we played a little bit like we practiced, to be honest with you. Came off a big road win on Tuesday night. Uh, traveled on Wednesday and Thursday was the first two-day prep off a West Coast trip that some of our young guys had had. Um, I, I didn't think they were real good in practice. Um, they were okay. And we played like that at times tonight in the first half. Second half, I thought we really played. Um, I thought we really played. This guy right here, without him tonight, we probably don't get it done. Okay, He, he willed us. He had that look in his eyes. He had to look in his eyes. Now, other guys made plays. Ray made some big plays as well. But Tracy's leadership, uh, the way he was vocal, the, his ability to come back from a tough call or tough play, it didn't faze him. And uh, you know, I, I gave him a hug after the game. I was so proud of the way that he led um, from where he's come when I first got here till now. Chimney Christmas. Uh, you know, he's he's a big part of what we do. Um, you know, as all the guys are, but I was really proud of his leadership tonight. His aggressiveness, his ability to keep our team together, um, I thought was really outstanding. Uh, I thought Ray made a lot of plays as well, especially late in the game. Had the big steal. You know, though we sat down and guarded really well in the last four or five minutes, I thought we had our toughness back in the second half. I thought we were together throughout. Um, you look at the stat sheet, and they beat us in darn near every statistical category except forced turnovers. So again, you know, my hat's off to them. We beat a good basketball team. We'll have a lot to learn from this film. And hopefully we will learn. You know, Brian Barnhart just said, you know, well, you get a chance to learn from a win. And obviously we would prefer that. Um, but we've got to be mature enough to do that and, and say, hey, we've got some areas that we've got to get better. Uh, I think we'll do that, uh, especially if our leaders keep leading and we remain humble. Um, we've got to get better in the next couple days here leading into Tuesday night's Georgia Tech game. Questions for the players? Tracy, what were you thinking when you guys were down 11 at the end of the first half and then everything just kind of changed with the way you kind of played? Uh, I think um, we've been pretty poised as a team, as a unit, throughout the season. And, uh, you know, just reminded our guys, you know, Coach did a great job at halftime and just letting us know you can't win it back in one play. Uh, so I just kind of kept that mindset and just kept feeding it to the guys, definitely, especially Ray, and just keep letting it be said and eventually it'll help out for, as a unit for us. Do you feel like at first there was a little carryover maybe even for some of the younger guys, especially just from the trip and the Vegas game? Like I feel like the young, the young guys will be good. Uh, I feel like the captains do a great job of helping those guys out. And it was their, their, their first time. Just going through this experience, and uh, just like Coach said, luckily uh, we're glad, we glad as, that we can learn from it with a win. So we're just going to be positive with those guys and keep helping each other out. Coach said you've come a long way. Uh, do you feel that way? Where, where do you feel like you've made the most changes? Uh, uh, Coach always talking to me about just being positive and uh, just let, let, let stuff play out, let it have it be. And uh, I just kind of kept that mindset uh, 
one game at a time, one day at a time, just focus on getting 1% better. Throughout your career, you know, going back to high school even, you kind of had a knack for making big plays like, like the steals like that that you had at, at center court that you did in the state championship game. Is that something that, that's just natural as <coughs> part of scouting, or, or how, how does that go about? I mean, uh, it was just um, something I saw and took advantage of. I mean, coach said uh, do whatever we had to do to stop him and just was in, got in that lane. Tracy, when your shot's not falling like that, but you've stayed aggressive throughout games, just how, how do you put that behind you? I mean, you can't bring it back. It ain't like you can press rewind and do it all over. So uh, just, you know, think about it. I mean, players, players, you know, that, that happens. You know, it's a long season. Uh, we only seven games into it. So just got to keep being positive and keep attacking. Is that something, you know, going back to what Coach said about maybe but that, you, that you've learned in the time that they've been here from, you know, you've grown from that throughout your career, maybe you used to let that stuff get to you, now you're, you're a little bit better at handling that stuff. I feel like, I feel like Coach and done a great job with just helping me just grow up as a as a player, person off the court, and uh, just got to always be open to learn. Uh, he talked about being lifetime learners, and uh, I feel like that's a great opportunity to, to just be open-minded like that. Can you compare the interior strength, like, Big guy Forbes and, and Jacobo, how do they compare to the other teams on the inside defensively that you played this year? I mean, uh, Forbes is a, a great player, a big player, and uh, we just did our best to um, come and trap him <clears throat> and try to uh, stop him from getting the ball in there. So, I mean, we just did what we did to try to stop him. And, I mean, he's a good player down there. He get scores and angles. When they were on defense, when you were going in toward the basket, more difficult you find like more arms pulling you back? Is it about the same? Um, they keep their pack pretty tight. So, I mean, uh, we tried to get it in there and dish it out and find open man. So. Thank you, Tracy. After that one driving layup, I saw you give the salute. That's kind of something we haven't seen from you before. What, what was that all about? Uh, just energy. Energy for our guys. You know, when guys see that, they feed off that positive energy. Uh, I was hoping to get a stop the next play, most importantly. But uh, you know, I just want to give up, give my guys energy. I know that's that's one of my jobs that I can bring as a captain. So I just try to find ways to get my guys going. Was that, was that directed toward the bench or was it toward toward the crowd? Never toward the crowd. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it would be, but you know, I'm with those guys every day. Those guys on the bench do a great job. You know, helping each other out. So I, that was to those guys. So you guys, the shots weren't falling enough. You guys didn't let it go to the defensive end. You know, how important was it to continue to play strong on the other end of the floor? Uh, we don't tie our defense to our offense. And uh, we got to keep building on that. But coach coach always preached that. Don't ever tie your defense to your offense. You know, that's going to come. So just mainly just being locked in and focused. Ray, how much of a difference have you felt this year with the conditioning and the weight you've lost? And what aspects of your game have you felt <coughs> Uh, first of all, uh, coaching staff and our strength and conditioning coach did a great job with me, uh, like helping me lose all that weight, and uh, it just helped me guard like faster players and quicker players, and uh, helped me get to the basket easier, and just helped me uh, help my team better. You feel a difference in uh, crunch time down the stretch? Uh, being able, yeah, being able to play through that, probably I couldn't probably do that at Drake. So I mean, play like 36 minutes, I think. So I mean, yeah. Anything else with the two players? There we go. Questions? Can you talk about what you learned from your team this uh, this week coming out on top of two plus games? Where do I start? That's an open ended one. Um, a lot. Um, uh, I thought Tuesday night, obviously, I thought we were toughing together for 40 minutes. I thought we got really great contributions from our bench, uh, which consisted of all freshmen on Tuesday night, their first road game in a tough environment. It got loud in there and, you know, playing against a really talented team. And so I thought that was pretty encouraging. I didn't think we executed details very well, and I, I still don't think we have yet, to be honest with you. Um, you know, whether it's inbound plays or, you know, just little things, a screen, a setup of a cut that can determine the success of a play or an inbound play or a set play or a, you know, we, we need to value those things more. We've got to get better at that execution piece. Um, you know, I, I thought that uh, tonight, as I mentioned with Tracy, was a really big step, you know, for him. Um, 
in the in the right direction there with his le leadership. I thought he was, you know, I I thought he was terrific with that. Uh, I thought that was good. Um, you know, I thought to the have the opportunity to be in two close games, as you just mentioned, coming down to the end. Um, those are always valuable learning experiences. Uh, I thought our poise and composure, for the most part, was good in both games. So that part's good, something to build on. But, you know, we still have a long way to go. As Tracy said, it's early. We've played seven games. The execution and the details of what we're doing are okay. We, we've got to be better than okay in those in those areas. We don't have that type of margin for error. You know, we've got to execute things that we call better. We got to read those situations better. So we've got to, and, and you only do that through practice and through experience. And uh, we're, we're going to need to, you know, continue to, you know, work hard to improve every day because we still have a long way to go. You see numbers like uh, two assists combined for your five starters, or three points total off the bench. Yeah. You know what? What, what, what concerns you most? It's not good enough. I mean, we got a long way to go, but we found a way to win. Um, you know, we're not going to apologize for that. We're not going to give it back. Um, we still got a long way to go. We got to take care of the ball better. Eleven first half turnovers is unacceptable. I thought we were sloppy, but I will tell you. I mean, they're good now. I mean, they play the defense. Their coverage on the ball screen was good tonight. They were they were good. I mean, they they executed well. Um, they're a basketball team. You know, and I t team. I tell the guys all the time. Individuals play the game. You know, teams. Teams do special things. That's when you can really and and I I, I saw that in the last two days. I thought I thought oh boy, you know these guys are a team. They really gel and play well together at both ends of the floor. And I got to give them a lot of credit. I mean they took away a lot of stuff. They forced some of those turnovers in the first half. Um, I thought they were really physical. They beat us to loose balls. They got eight offensive rebounds. I mean, you know I mean, I mean they, they they played really really well. Santa didn't have a rebound in the first half. Out yeah, I thought he got really tentative. I thought when Big Boy went at him a couple times, he got tentative. I tried to encourage him to stay with it, and you know that's going to have to be a learning, you know, learning experience for Nana. So he's trying to balance his aggressiveness with playing hard without fouling. Um, you know, we're trying to teach him kind of that happy medium. John, you guys forced 18 turnovers, steals, blocks, you know, and charge there. How gratifying was it for you to see that last play of the game? Yeah, well, we were tough. I mean, we, we were tough in the second half now. In the first half, I didn't think we were very tough. I thought they were a lot tougher than we were. And, you know, the last 20 minutes, I thought they continued with their toughness, and then we amped ours up a little bit, and, you know, it became a boxing match there in the second half. But, you know, I was proud of the way that they our guys, you know, responded to – um couple things I said to them at halftime. So they responded really well. And uh, a big part of that was the guy sitting up here to my right. I mean, he, he makes sure, you know, he's, he's, he's an extension of, of what I want said and what, what I want echoed. And tonight he did that at the highest level. I've seen him do it since I've coached him. And uh, my gosh, that, that's such a, you know, it's such a valuable thing. And he's, you know, the same thing happened the other night. I mean, everyone wants to talk about his shooting. I mean, you can shove that wherever you want to shove it. I mean, he got, he got seven Matto points on Tuesday night. He dug out four loose balls. I mean, dude's a winner. He wins. I'm living with that. Okay, he wins. I mean, it's what he's, he just, his mindset, he's just a tough kid. And uh, now for his ability to be able to get other guys, pull them with him, uh, added to that toughness that he's already had as a player already. I think he's kind of had that mindset anyway. It's kind of who he is. He's getting other guys. He's pulling them with him. And uh, that's a sign of a guy who's really growing in the leadership area. How much has the team mirrored him? Um, his toughness, I think quite a bit. You know, and I, I think tonight he was exceptional. I certainly don't want to take – I thought Nana was really good in the leadership area on Tuesday night, and Trace was too, but Nana was really vocal. Um, I think Joe's talking more than he ever has. Um, you know, John is, is, is trying to do that more as well. Um, so I'm just really on those guys about that. But, you know, I, I thought that, um, you know, Nana was exceptional with that on Tuesday. I thought Trace was exceptional with it t uh, tonight. That's right, right about getting in passing lanes and making plays happen. Is that just something he has? He does. He has great hands. He has a gift to anticipate. He's able to play harder longer because he's, you know, I tease him all the time. I said, you lost half a person. Um, you know, so he just was able to play harder longer, make more plays. And uh, tonight he made a couple big ones. 
there. He sniffed the one out late game where they were trying to run the three and just anticipated that well as well. He blew that up. Then he had the steal. You know, and Ray's a tough dude. I mean, he, you know, Ray, Ray's a winner as well. Very similar to Tracy in that way. Steve Forbes seemed to get away with the hook and call, without the hook and call for most of the game. Could you remind Bo and Chris and Jeff throughout the game to keep an eye on Well, obviously they called the one on him late, but, you know, he, he worked to get really good position. He got too good a position on Nana a couple times. I didn't think that we did a very good job of doubling down. Ray said we were doubling. We did some in the second half, but we were needed to dig down and help him a little bit. We didn't do that as much as we should have. Tracy had a big steal where he went down and dug the ball out when Forbes was trying to make a post move. Um, so we should have given him a little bit more support. Probably went in there a little bit too easily. We gave him angles but you know he's close to 300 pounds so you know when he gets that his, his body on you a little bit reminded me a little bit of AJ Hammonds who's at Purdue he get to get the body on you and they engage you they almost paralyze you and they got Nana sealed on the high side a couple times there so I have to take a look at it two games in a row where the first half maybe you struggled a little bit defensively and then turned it up a notch in the second half how much of that is adjustments how much is that is just figuring out the game plan as you go along well I think it's a little bit of both um you know, tonight for us, our 11 turnovers led to 16, I think it was, maybe 14, DB will have it, uh, points off turnovers in the first half. I mean, you know, it's hard when you're, when you're giving them live ball turnovers and they've got two-on-ones and three-on-twos. I mean, it's tough to guard that. I thought our defense was affected uh, by a lot of things in the first half, but I thought one of the things that injured it the most was turnovers led to scoring opportunities that we couldn't defend or are harder to defend, you know. Um, so we, we'll we'll take a look at it and see how you know how we can improve. You figure free throws. You were normally pretty good free throwing. You shot fifty percent in the second half, and they were two for thirteen. Yeah, I know. You know, thank goodness they missed some. You know, they probably feel like obviously if they'd have made a few more, they would have came out on top. You know, we didn't exactly close the door in that area late either. But you, know, you can't control. I you know as a coach, I I don't get too worked up over that. We shoot them every day. I said that last year. Our, we had a good foul shooting team last year, and um, we have made um, over 70, you know, 70 percent uh, coming into tonight. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing there, and you know, work at it every day. You'd say this is just a little, just a little thing, or if it mattered, but for for Kendrick to turn the ball over, yeah, and track the guy who, who stole it all the way, and come that up was a big time play. Big, for him, big time play. You know, for him to be able as a young guy to get to the next play, block the shot, I thought that was a great, you know, great play. And he's getting better in practice as well. Those guys are, are starting to learn that, you know, you've got to bring it every day. You've got to bring it every day, every game, every possession. Um, you know, otherwise you're going to learn the hard way. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, learn uh, from this game tonight and uh, be better when we play on Tuesday. Coach, you have any concern coming in today after that big road win at the Pop Oh, sure. Yeah, no question. I mean, I told you that when I started watching the film, I was like, whew, you know, they're, they're good. I mean, they do some good things. They, they're they well coached. They're oh, As I said, they're older. They execute. I mean, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, but, yeah, you always, you always worry about that. How humble are we going to be? Um, I thought the veterans were ready to go. But, you know, we weren't – our young guys weren't great in practice. I think tonight their intentions were to play well. They had good shoot-around today and all those things. But, you know, you, you, the basketball gods sometimes don't allow you to, you know, not be sharp in practice and then be a monster in the game the next day. And, and mo in fact, more often than not, it doesn't work that way. Every once in a while you can get away with it. And uh, so hopefully we'll learn from that. Do you feel this team has found its closer or closers? Um, I think we got different closers. You know, my hope is I, I think this is a team that, you know, hopefully as we get better in executing, because our execution is not great right now, that we'll be able to have, you know, f five double-figure scores and some other guys chipping in. Um, so it could be a different guy every night based on how you play certain things. Um, but obviously here, you know, lately Ray and Tracy have been making some big plays for us late in the game. But our defense is what's been getting it done for us at the end of the day. You look at our second half defensive numbers. You look at our national statistics defensively. I mean, you know, that's where you're able to get consistency. And so we got to continue to build on that. Coach, John, you, you quote a lot of people couldn't help but hear you over the, on the radio quoting. Was it Will Rogers? Could you enlighten us with that one? Yeah, Will's, uh, I, I like his quotes. And he said, um, some people, 
learn by listening. Some people learn by doing. Um, you know, some people learn by seeing, and other people learn by peeing on the electric fence. You know, so we 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 got electrocuted a little bit tonight in some areas. So hopefully we'll learn. Um, you know, hear from it in the next 24 hours, and we'll watch the film tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be a lot better for it heading into Tuesday. Thank you. Thanks.